Hey guys, Rex here. So like pace planning is definitely a thing, right? I have a variety of different uh, medical kits. I got everything from the big, you know, um, backpack size deals down to the IFAX and the Bearfax. And I got the SOB that I keep in my pocket. I've got a smaller one and I've got other stuff in other cars. I've got a quick clot in every vehicle. I got turning kits stuck everywhere. Um, I've got, I think, two or three decent med kits in my vehicle that I drive most of the time in different spots so that if I roll over upside down or you know or I'm stuck I can still reach stuff if I'm in the front seat or end up in the back seat or whatever but this is definitely a part of a pace plan right here uh, so this is simple and this is actually pretty affordable man I got this uh this one's from uh, Refuge Medical actually it's I think it's North American Rescue here is where this comes from originally but uh Refuge Medical still has stuff like this if you're looking for med kits it's good to have the complete kit right like just in case everything happens you know you can piecemeal the stuff but this is of course sealed pretty well i mean it's like what do they call it vacuum shrunk or whatever and it's going to be waterproof and you could throw one of these in your kitchen drawer which is actually where i have mine because there are knives in the kitchen man and there's you know stuff could happen in the kitchen what if the guy's coming through the window and i have to grab the Sega 12 and let them have it, you know, um, in the kitchen. You never know, the Russians coming in through the window. And so I need this like available where you're gonna spend your time, right? Your vehicle is one spot to keep them. I always keep one in the garage where I do like ridiculous work. I've been injured in garages before, um, but the kitchen is a good place. Um, so like these are affordable enough, you can grab them and put them uh, where you'll where you'll uh, need them, or you could uh, put you could hang this on the wall. You could you know tape make a hook or something and hang this on the wall so it's visible. But um, definitely check this out. What do we got inside here, guys? We got the, the cat tourniquet. We got the draw, uh, trauma dressing, the wound packing gauze. We got the gloves, shears, the blanket, the permanent marker, and the instruction card. Of course, um, I would strongly recommend training any of this kind of stuff because um, that's going to make it actually, it, it'll um, up the value of this times 100, 100 fold if you actually know how to use the stuff that's in here and learn the processes to assess the situation and uh, apply the proper, you know, the proper, the proper bleeding control. So that's pretty cool, but I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, so I was laying around again. Thank God I haven't had to use it, but if you ever need one, man, I don't know how anyone could get a, you know, stingy. Well, I know I don't know if I can afford one of these extra ones. You know, yeah, say that after you run out of blood, right? Like this is important stuff, man. I think this is good to have these kind of wherever you get dangerous, right? And of course, you should always keep something on you, yeah, some kind of bare minimum deal. Like a tourniquet, you can just throw that in your pocket or whatever. But like having a full kit available wherever you're at, always a good plan. So check out Refuge Medical. They still have a lot of pretty cool stuff in stock. I know that if you want to buy stuff like this, guys, I talk to guys like that. And it's getting really, really stupid in terms of supply. Like I wouldn't hesitate. <laughs> I would grab what this kind of stuff that you need immediately. So rock and roll, guys. Rex out.